Welcome to this episode of LVI TV. I'm Mark Duncan and I'm gonna talk about something gross. Here's the deal, bacteria are evil. Well, not all bacteria are, but the evil ones are. And in your gums, they'll start out as a relatively simple and benign collection of bugs, but then as time goes on, they change in dramatic and scary ways. And that's all happening in a place that you could reach, but you don't. Periodontal disease, like most dental diseases, is almost totally preventable. It can be completely reversed in the early stage, and if you do your job, it won't even happen at all. But the problem is that we don't floss or brush effectively, and so it happens to be one of the most common infectious diseases on the planet, affecting some 80% of the adult population. So what's it really all about? We used to assume it was the tartar or calculus, the hard deposits that your hygienist scrapes off your teeth. What we know is the more that we scrape, the worse patients got. It hurt patients, and we yelled about flossing, and no one paid any attention. And then, of course, the next time that patients are offered scaling and root planing, the answer was, No! God! No! God! Please, no! That hurts. My gums still bleed. I just don't see why. Well, today we know better. It's about the biofilm, the nasty amorphous goo that happens to grow and evolve into an ever more aggressive, a uh, threat. And biofilm is defined as any group of microorganisms in which cells stick to each other on a surface. Now these adherent cells are frequently embedded within a self-produced matrix of extracellular polymeric substance, or EPS. This extracellular polymeric substance is also referred to as slime, and slime is bad. The first bacterial colonists adhere to the surface initially through weak and very reversible adhesion via van der Waals forces. If the colonists are not immediately separated from the surface they're uh, attached to, then they can anchor themselves through more permanently using cell adhesion structures like pili or little feet. And hyperphobicity also plays an important role. And as a colony advances, it literally develops communication between the colonies and it morphs from a relatively non-threatening bacteria to a very aggressive bacteria that are increasingly difficult to remove or treat. Unfortunately, removing the calculus does nothing to remove the biofilm. In fact, it may actually increase the sophistication and dispersion of the biofilm itself. The way it starts is with what's called initial attachment or phase one. That's sort of like a five o'clock shadow. And then it matures into phase two, which is an irreversible attachment phase, much like stubble. And then it develops onto phase three, which is called maturation one, and then ultimately phase four, maturation two. That's like those silly looking pre-beards. And then it gets scary because phase five is dispersion, where the biofilm literally seeds bacteria to the environment, like a nasty full-on beard full of food and crumbs and whatever falls out onto your plate. Now obviously we need to keep the area clean if we want to keep our teeth, and one of the most effective daily routines is the water pick. In fact, this simple procedure was shown to be more effective than antibiotic therapy in eliminating periodontal disease and bleeding and pocket depths. So the hygienist lecture is no longer about flossing. We lost that battle, but we developed something better. Just make sure that you're using it effectively. 90 degrees to the surface of the tooth, just above the gum line tissue, and about three to five seconds per tooth. And then of course use it daily. Well, that's if you want to keep your teeth. Well, if you want to keep your teeth healthy and your body healthy and your breath nice and your friends happy. So take care of your gums. Seriously, it isn't that hard to brush your teeth twice a day, irrigate with a water pick, and it'll help you to live longer to boot. So here's to keeping those pearly whites clean and pretty and thanks for tuning in. Until next time, I'm Mark Duncan. Don't forget to like us and subscribe. We'll see you soon, bye-bye. We're definitely learning something new, a little bit more, a little bit more every time you come out here but it's always being... We consume 50 pounds of fruits and vegetables which were cold pressed in three days. With what my medical doctor thought was chronic sinusitis